Okay, for the today's uh, video, we are going to discuss about some of the calculations uh, for the uh, single phase AC circuit. Now, before we really go into the calculations, uh, there are some basic requirements that you have to understand. Uh, here is the sinusoid to phasor transformations. Now, we have uh, discussed uh, in previous uh, lecture or in previous video, we have discussed about the, the signals in the time domain here. We have uh, like this Vm, the amplitude, and then here we have uh, the argument here and with the phase shift. And this is in the time domain. Now, if you want to call, uh, convert that one into the uh, phase domain, uh, we have relation like this. And uh, for this cos omega t plus the phase shift phi, we can write Vm, the amplitude, whatever is the amplitude given here, at an angle of this is the phase. The phasor uh, difference, which is given by phi here, and then if it is a uh, sine function, then we are writing the angle with phi minus 90 degree. Now it is important for us to bring our signal into these forms. For example, you may be given with a signal negative of a Vm cos of omega t plus phi. Now when you have negative sign in front of this signal, we cannot use this one directly. So to use this relationship, again, we have to use uh, another uh, trigonometric ratios like this. Uh, we have to use uh, this kind of uh, relationship. For example, I have said that if the, the amplitude is given negative, then you may use this kind of relationship here. Yeah? Or you can also use this, uh, the minus of cos omega t is equal to sine omega t, minus 90 degree. You can use this function and then make it a standard form like uh, we have here. I, uh, we have to make the standard uh, the positive Vm of cos omega t plus phi or positive Vm sine omega t plus phi. Then only you can use this relationship. Okay, the, the lower one is with the, the that one is for the current, the amplitude is given I am here. Okay, let's uh, transform the sinusoid to the phase here. Now, in the first uh, question A here, it's given I is equal to 6 cos of 50T minus 40 ampere. Okay. Now, in order to transform this one into the phase form, here we have plus 6 cos of omega T minus 40 degree. Now, for this one, you can apply this one. The plus six is here, cos of omega t, yeah, plus phi. Now, in this case, we can apply directly. See here, we are applying here, i of, okay, i is equal to six of cos 50t minus 40 degree. And if you convert that one into the phase, the phase form, we have i is equal to amplitude six ampere at an angle of minus 40 degree. So this one is directly applicable. Now when it comes to the second form, for the voltage V is equal to, is given negative of four sine 30 T plus 50 degree. Now for this one, you can either use negative sine A is equal to cos of A plus 90 degree. So when you use this one, your final expression is like this, your four cos of 30 T plus 140 degree. Now in this case, you have the amplitude is in negative and then your that function is in the uh, sine function here. So there is also other option. You can also use this one. Uh, you have negative sine of A here. So negative sine of A is equal to sine of omega t plus 180 degree or sine of omega t minus 180 degree. Now even if you use this relation, you'll get the same answer uh, and the that solved one has used this one negative of sine omega t is equal to cos of omega t plus 90 degree they have used this relationship you can also use this first relationship so these relations are very important for the, the time domain to the phase domain transformation okay now, okay, let's also see another example. Now here is a class exercise. Uh, you can try to solve it yourself. You have given the voltage V is equal to seven of course, two T 
plus 40 degree now here we can apply it directly whereas for this one we have you have to transform this one that amplitude is in amplitude is in negative okay remember that there will be unit now it is the current here i and our unit is ampere you have given your voltage and the unit is volt so these are the ac signals okay answers uh, answer is also given here and then now let's see the relationship between the current and the voltage in the phasor form here you have uh, the the circuit elements you have r l and c now this uh, three elements uh, that uh, we are going to use in our the analysis purpose, the circuit analyzing purpose. And in, in uh, if you're writing it in the time domain, you can write V is equal to Ri. Or uh, for the inductor, we can write V is equal to L of different uh, differentiation I with respect to time t. And for C, you can write I is equal to C dB by dt. Or you can also write V is equal to 1 by C integral of I dt. If you're writing the integral form, your subject should be in the voltage form. Voltage V is equal to 1 by C integral of I dt. But it doesn't matter. It, uh, they are similar thing. You're making I as a subject and then uh, we're multiplying it with it. Uh, voltage and then the magnitude of the capacitor and then if you write it in the frequency domain here we have v is equal to ri okay remember that the only difference that we have in, uh, in the representation is here we are using the small letters for the time domain we are using the small letter i is in the small letter v is also in the small letter and then when you write it in frequency domain your i will be capital letter and v will be also in the capital letter so V is given by Ri, is same for both uh, the time domain and the frequency domain. And then for the voltage at the inductor is J omega L. Now the logic here is this J omega L is this one, XL. XL or the reactive, uh, the, this one is called inductive reactant, right? Uh, this one is called the inductive reactance, so it's given by J omega L, and then this omega is equal to 2 pi F. So if you write, now this one is in the radian form, if you write it in the frequency uh, uh, in hertz, it's uh, 2 pi F L. So here uh, we have, uh, you will see the uh, imaginary, uh, that the imaginary form here, I, now this one, will give you the phase shift j is equal to 90 degree phase shift and if it's 1 by j then it's same as minus j so you will have minus 90 degree phase shift now these are the relationship between the current and the voltage in time domain or in the frequency domain okay uh, Okay, uh, again, uh, here we have uh, the relationship between the impedance and the admittance. The general uh, relationship between impedance and the admittance is we are writing that impedance by Z and admittance by Y. If you are writing the relationship between impedance and the admittance, they are just the reciprocal. So your Y will be equal to 1 by Z. So Z in case of the element resistor is R. In case of inductor, the inductor is J omega L. So if you do the reciprocal of this one, you get 1 by J omega L. And then for the capacitor, it's already 1 by J omega C. So if you reciprocal this, you'll get Y is equal to J omega C. Now in case of the impedance, your inductor will give the phase shift of plus 90 degree. Whereas for the capacitor, it will give the phase shift of minus 90 degree. But in case of the admittance, your uh, inductor will give the phase shift of minus 90 degree. And then for the admittance, uh, for the capacitor, it will give you the phase shift of plus 90 degree. They are just opposite. Or we are just doing the uh, reciprocal of the impedance. So it's expected the relationships are uh, in opposite, right? 
C here for Z is given by J omega L. And then if you write it in the Fessel form, uh, you'll get uh, omega L at an angle of uh, 90 degree, plus 90 degree. And if you write here, it will be one by omega C at an angle of minus 90 degree. But in case of the admittance, you'll get omega C at an angle of 90 degree. Here, it will be one by omega L at an angle of minus 90 degree. Okay, let's uh, solve the small example here. The voltage V is equal to 12 cos of 60T plus 45 degree phase shift and is applied to a 0 0.1 Henry inductor. Find the steady state current through the inductor. Now here, uh, you have to analyze the circuit. If you draw the circuit uh, diagram for this one, Okay, uh, if you draw the circuit diagram for the given uh, uh, numerical, it's like this V of T, the AC signal, is applied to a 0 0.1 Henry inductor, which means they, have, they are connected in series. So here we have inductor value 0 0.1 Henry. And then we are asked to find the current through the inductor. Okay, now for this one, here we have V is given by J omega L I, or is same as V is equal to X L I. So in place of X L, we are writing J omega L times I, where omega is equal to uh, 60 radian per second. Now how we got this 60? It's from here, omega is given here, 60. And then you have V in the polar form, we can write it 12 at an angle of 45 degree. Now this is the phase shift. Here we have phase shift here. Now for this one, we can write it directly because you don't have to convert. It is already in the uh, standard form. Plus 12 cos of omega t plus phi. So this phi is equal to 45 degree. And then um, we are asked to calculate the current. So to calculate the current I, we are making I as a subject and then V by J omega L. So it is 12 at an angle of 40 degree. This is the value of uh, the voltage. And then we have uh, J omega L is J times omega is 60. Now, okay, remember that uh, this omega T, we have here omega T. So in place of omega, we have value 60. So we are writing here 60 times L value of inductor is in uh, okay is a given in Henry only so you can write it directly 0 0.1 so which means if you convert this one in polar form okay this one will get it directly from the calculator that you have if you calculate this one you'll get six times six at an angle of 90 degree so you can uh, now apply the uh, uh, division uh, for the division in the polar form here. So it's 12 divided by 6 is equal to how much? It's 2. And then we have 45 minus 90 degree. So it's negative 45 ampere. Now this is in the uh, polar form. Now we have to again convert it back to in this time domain, which means converting this to the time domain, we have I of t is equal to 12 cos of omega t is 60 degree. No, that one, that, that one is 60. 60t minus 45 degree ampere. Now, see, this is purely inductive load here. There's no resistive and the capacitive load. This is purely inductive load. So here we can see that there is the phase shift of plus 90 degree. We just have to uh, find the phase shift here. Phi is equal to phi 1 or phi 2 minus phi 3. Phi 2 minus phi 1. So if you consider this one as phi, uh, okay, if you consider this one as phi two, this one is phi one. If you do the addition, either you get plus or minus 90 degree. So here we can see that there's a phase shift of 90 degree. And then, okay, you can also try to uh, solve this one here. If the voltage V is equal to 10 cos of 100 T plus 30 degree, is applied to a 50 microfarad. Remember that the unit is given in micro. Calculate the current through the capacitor. So here you can try to calculate using the 
same uh, method that we have applied here. In place of uh, that xc, we'll have one by j omega c, and then value of omega is hundred here. Okay, answer is given here. We can just try to validate whether you're getting it or not. And then uh, now gradually we are entering into the uh, the circuit theorems that we have applied in the DC circuit. Because in the DC circuit, we have discussed so many theorems like uh, Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, then superposition theorem, Thevenet theorem, then the source transformation, Norton theorem, Milman's theorem, Delegate theorem, so many theorems. Now, these theorems can be also applicable to the, uh, the AC circuit. Okay, now here we are going to apply the mesh analysis. If you apply the mesh analysis here, okay, find the voltage V and I in the circuit shown below. So you, you have to calculate the current in this branch. Okay, here we have only like the branch current will be same as the mesh current. There's only one mesh. And then you have, you also have to calculate the voltage V here. So in order to calculate this one, you have to first find the total impedance. Same thing, okay, just uh, think that in place of the capacitor here, if it is replaced by the resistor, how you're going to solve that one? So you'll first add this, the five ohm with this resistor, and then you will have one equivalent resistor. After that, you'll just uh, divide this voltage divided by this equivalent resistor, right? Same thing you can also do here, you can also apply here. You have to find the total impedance Z. In this case, we have to find the Z. Let's make this one as Z1. Let's make this one as Z2. Your total Z will be equal to Z1 plus Z2. Now for Z1, it's directly equal to 5 ohm. But whereas for the Z2, it is same as 1 by J omega, J omega C. So C value is given 0 0.1, and omega, you will get it from this supply voltage, it's 4. Now, from there, you can calculate the Z2. And then once we have Z1 and Z2, you can just divide it uh, voltage divided by Z total, and you get the current. So same concept that you can apply. Let's see, uh, okay, hint, okay, first calculate the Z. Let's see, okay, here we have. Now that voltage source is also, we are converting it uh, to the polar form. And then in this case, there is no phase shift. So our phase shift is equal to zero, which means you'll have uh, <coughs> amplitude is 10 at an angle of zero volt. And then as I said, omega is four. So we are first calculating the impedance. The total impedance Z is equal to five plus one by J omega C. Now we have five minus 2.5 J ohm. Now this is the total impedance. Now this one, we can also calculate, uh, you can also convert that one into the polar form like this. Uh, for example, if you calculate this one directly uh, from the calculator, from rectangular to polar form, five minus 2.5 J in the polar form, okay. Uh, you'll get, uh, okay, uh, one minute. Okay, I know if you convert this one into the polar form, if you convert this one into the polar form, uh, you'll get 5.6 at an angle of minus 26.6. So this one you can directly divide uh, in this and you'll get the answer. Or there's other method here that you step uh, conjugate. So 10, if you convert this one into the rectangular form, you'll, have, uh, you'll get 10 plus, zero j which means same as we're writing 10 and then uh, to divide this one by the uh, in, uh, the, the complex number we are conjugating this one so while conjugating you will have the real number and then finally we're dividing it and then we got the answer in the polar form so this is the current the branch current or the mesh current that we got and then after that you also have to calculate the voltage across the capacitor so how to calculate the voltage across the capacitor? Simply uh, is uh, I times Zc. So value of Zc is uh, one by J omega C. 
So we are dividing I by three omega C and then we get the final answer here. So again, after that, uh, we have to convert it back to the time domain. Okay, or it's okay to keep it till this, or we can also convert it back to like in the time, time domain, and then you will get like this. I hope uh, you got the concept how to calculate uh, the, how to uh, solve the circuits in, uh, in the AC uh, signal. And then we also have a few, okay, okay, here. AC circuit and the circuit theorems. A similar concept in the DC circuit that we use in the DC circuit can also be applied to the uh, AC circuit, like application to the Kirchhoff's law, the Easter, Easter delta transformation, and other circuit theorems. As I mentioned in uh, other session, like we have so many theorems, so we can apply that one in the AC circuit as well. Okay, here, see, you can just try to solve it yourself. And if you have any doubt, let's discuss. Okay, here, here it has solution, and then we have so many. So these things you can try to solve it yourself. Okay, these things you can try to solve. And then uh, if you have any doubt, let's discuss this one. The same as you are applying the mesh analysis, and then the KCL, KVL, and other theorems. And okay, we have assignment three. So similar, uh, similar problems for all circuit theorems with independent source or with dependent source, and then we'll discuss about the submission deadlines. So that's it about the today's session, and then we'll uh, continue in next video.